The following WSKG art segment was produced in conjunction with Ithaca College. Hi, my name is Jordan Friend. I'm a senior acting major here at Ithaca College, and I'm one of the troop members of the newly founded Ithaca Jacobean Players for our first ever production, which is John Webster's The Duchess of Malfi. The Duchess of Malfi is the quintessential Jacobean play because it attacks the two issues that were really, really on people's minds at the time, which is uh, the increasing empowerment and agency of women and the corruption of the Catholic Church, um, which is manifested in the play's main villain, the Cardinal. Thou art a witty false one. I mean to him. I put this group together uh, with the idea of having a group of actors who could tackle a Jacobean era play in an extremely concentrated amount of time, which is much closer to how they would have rehearsed it back then. They didn't have these long gestation processes that we often benefit from having in contemporary theater. They also didn't necessarily have design teams or formal directors. Um, it was really a troop of actors and a play and they had to kind of use their wits um, in an incredibly compressed time frame in Jacobean theater, which is um, a really, really cool period of theater that doesn't necessarily get performed that often here. And I think there's a lot that it has to offer, especially for contemporary American audiences, given our current both political, social, and also artistic climate. I think there's a lot that we can enjoy about these plays. So let's take this legendary play that actually doesn't get done very much stateside and put it up with kind of similar trappings to the way they may have, but in our own kind of contemporary interpretation. We are taking the resources we have, so no, we don't have like old-fashioned lanterns, so we used flashlights, and we don't have, you know, massive bodices and huge gowns, and we don't have doublets, and, you know, it is a recreation of the spirit in which the actress may have approached it, as far as we can tell based on research. This was my father's pond. Do you see? I'd be loath to see it look rusty cause twas his. I think that story is, you know, we might think of it as over the top because of how bloodily it unfolds, but I think it's also very, very in keeping with the kind of art and entertainment that we're interested in right now, shows like Breaking Bad and Game of Thrones. I mean, because we're in this kind of similar period of sort of shaken identities about who we are and what we stand for, and there's this unrest, there's fear, there's terrorism, and so we're kind of producing the same kind of work that they produced. So I think, despite it being a play that doesn't necessarily often see the light of day in American academic settings, a play written 400 years ago can be that jarring and shocking and surprising. If you know of an individual or group who should be profiled on a WSKG art segment, please send an email to wskgart at wskg.org.